US session starts in over an hour and so far we are fairly balanced in the overnight mm, we are gapping a little bit higher uh, above uh, the settle and the prices are being accepted the if if we count a spike from this area the M period base it is way lower we I think that the, the this price movement can even be uh, starting around the point of control but uh, that basically is not that important uh, even if we uh, counted from a period's high we are accepting the the spike so it is fairly positive uh, that we are opening here uh, Asian session tried higher than uh, sold off a little bit mm, around the open open might be also an important level uh, because it was the the last area of uh, resistance for this up move uh, in the end of the session so but it is around overnight low so basically the same uh, so mm, yeah what what can we expect we are back inside uh, Friday's range and we are gapping over a gap it's gonna be small gap so the probability is good that it will be closed also overnight point of control is uh, fairly wide so it might be revisited mm, I remember yesterday I was uh, pointing out that mm, yesterday played out similar to Thursday and we can see that even the profile shape looks similar we we had a gap from previous day and although we didn't have mm, any continuation to the downside at all uh, we balanced for a while and uh, had a late in, in the day this uh, price probe Sim somewhat similar yesterday and following day was a big sell-off on Friday so uh, after quite uh, calm overnight today's overnight is also uh, similar little bit more positive um, but uh, one important thing is that this happened within uh, multi-day balance and this is happening below that balance so this is the major difference and I think that the selling from the overnight and the yesterday was weak indeed but it might induce a real selling and this area is really interesting below 3300 uh, below this old balance zone so uh, those weak weakest shorts got squeezed and removed from the market and now stronger hands can uh, enter instead of them and I am considering uh, this scenario especially because uh, we have a really wide uh, point of control mm, below maybe this chart will be better uh, and this low is also questionable so if if the selling uh, will appear and we can see if it is stronger by volume by respecting of uh, references like uh, overnight point of control the spike base overnight low if it is if it goes like just through them without uh, bouncing and reversing mm, then we will see that it's something more uh, uh, strong if we get a nice uh, rejection below overnight low like we bounce from uh, value area high 
and come back I think that uh, it's a good opportunity to get long similar uh, we can expect reaction from this M period spike and from point of control uh, I pointed out here because this is volume point of control uh, really important area around yesterday's low is this K period high K period low because this is the last low mm, that was made in the afternoon and below is poor low mm, so basically a uh, 3 or five 4 point area above yesterday low will be very important and this will uh, decide if the low is taken or not mm, if overnight uh, corrects a bit which means closing the gap revisiting uh, point of control or volume point of control and bounce back for example from spike base or some other area we might uh, see some move uh, to the upside I think that if we get uh, if we close the gap and bounce I can look for an entry long Mm, with really tight stop uh, if we get deeper and then start moving higher I'm not sure if well maybe I will try one along from uh, this spike base uh, other than that if we get higher and get a pullback above mm, yesterday's high I'm not sure I can enter in the middle of the move so I will probably miss this and maybe later enter on some pullback uh, during lunch hours or in the afternoon and if we make an early attempt higher that fails for example around uh, around uh, Friday's low is too risky I think that if we fail around overnight uh, high this would get us a really nice opportunity to to fade this uh, pop higher to get back into mm, yesterday's range because this can also indicate rejection from this uh, bigger range so this this would be really nice play targeting first the uh, gap fill and even uh, retracing this entire range uh, if I have multiple uh, scale outs I would do this uh, just from this area so yeah basically uh, it I think that yesterday was really uh, important because attempted direction was low but we we did only go lower in a B and C and also a and B was really uh, choppy as I mentioned in my precession preparation so mm, this attempt to go lower was not that successful we did uh, hold the gap but barely so mm, I'm not uh, sure if if I can uh, say the the bears won yesterday uh, one important thing is that today and till the end of the week uh, Powell will be speaking today it's l at 10.30 which is uh, C period and tomorrow and uh, on from on is around 10 o'clock which is B so I have to be really cautious uh, about trading around those uh, hours uh, as they can be uh, really volatile so yeah, basically uh, that's it and I will update uh, during the session, hopefully after IB forms or maybe even after A period.